Hello friends, welcome back again in our Excel automation tool. So in this tutorial, I am going to show a advanced multi-user data entry form. That means there are multiple users can use this user form and there is also a common database you can see. This is our common database and this is our data entry tool. So if you see, uh, you need to ensure that the where is your database, just I am see there. This is our uh, database path. If you want to show, uh, I am just opening this database. So you can see this is our user and password and this is also our drop down list and also this is our data entry. Okay, so I am just open to our user form and there you can see this is our database path. This is you can customize and need to confirm. So I need to open this form first and there is admin and password is one, two, three. After completing the user and the password, you need to click login okay if your user id and password is matched then our user form will be open so you can already see there is a three data is already available there because of you can see there is a three data that means that's why we are seeing there there is three data okay so uh, i need to close this and if i want to insert anything like i just input sid one two three and this is our river name okay i'm just input this test basis data and this is our case and and this is our date i am just click the date icon and just insert our required data okay after completing all our field just need to the save button okay data added successfully okay you can see if i want to reopen our database sheet you can see this is our database and this data is new inserted if i cross check there okay okay there okay now need to the update and delete or clear anything just double click there i just update our sid and you can see this is our copc manual and there is one validation just case number should be the unique i just use for your consideration so you can use or either use or either you can remove this I am just using this and then I just need to the update because of I am just changing our SID and then other thing is okay I am just update okay data is successfully update if I see cross check there okay this is our SID and you can see this is the change and I am a close this again okay just double click there for the delete just need to the delete and uh, i'm just click there okay data delete successfully uh from the sheet you can see data is deleted okay so i am just click there to uh, so double click there and you can use a clear button for clear all information so the next thing is you can search any data search any data by using this criteria just need to click at id if i select all from the all data you can search anything okay so i just need to one thing for testing case number and i want to as a one two three four five one two three four five when i search dot and click then you can see only one two three four five data is available there so after after searching all our data will be show there and you can download the report by this download button so report is download there if i want to see okay this is a case number wise data and i am close this so you can uh, any search any data by using this also you can search by date wise data okay um, so this is the refresh button for refresh all the information and this is also the exit button for exit the workbook okay i am just close this okay so need to think one thing that you can you can change go to the support sheet and you can change your required user and also that is you can see this is the drop down list so you can if you change anything there this will be reflected from our user form and also this is our list so if i close open this there okay you need to make sure this database path otherwise this is will be the close so i am just again open the form okay enter this and close this and go to the developer mode and you can see this is our view code 
and the next thing is we are going to make a complete tutorial step by step for beginning to advance and this is a form and this is all the login form so if you see this is all our save all data like this is calendar and this is also for by refresh button double click search and okay just this is for also for module wise so I, all our function is available there and drop down from drop down is value set and this is valid entry and if you want to see this is add data entry that means there is this is connection with our required database sheet okay and this is also the clear and delete and search and also this is our update okay we will show all our step from beginning to advanced level that you can download it by yourself and hopefully we will back with the complete tutorial as soon as possible for any kind of customization we will assist you so you can contact with us so as well as you need to know this is our download of platform and there is lots of tool available there so you can download it and there is also available trial version and the practice template so you can download for your learning purpose so that's all thank you very much please subscribe to our channel and we will see you in the next tutorial